What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Hebdo! Yeah, yeah. Let's go! What's up, buddy? How are you, sir? How is life? And uh, please plug, promote anything and everything. We can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear him either, chat. It's, it's for both of us, so we can't hear at all. Oh, so I put the microphone on the right setting. Th there it is. We're golden. We're golden. How are you, brother? Doing good. Shit in a brick, to say the least. <laughs> Why you say that? Why? I don't know. This is very alien for me, I guess. I'm not used to this kind of... Well this kind of scene, I guess. I've never done anything like this, so it's all very new for me. Well, we appreciate your time. Do me a favor and kind of just, like, show off what you got going on mask-wise. That, that thing is dope, man. Give me a couple <laughs> little turns to the sides and stuff. Yeah, that thing is nice. Hell yeah. So is, uh... Talk to me about where where all of you creating music started. Like, how how old were you? What what artist inspired you to to even just want to make EDM music and and do what you do? Um. So, if you're talking from performing standpoint, that was probably back when I was in school. Um, I used to do singing um, in what would be probably obviously the education system's different between uk and us so probably what would be the equivalent of middle school over in the us okay um used to sing then puberty hit and fucked that right up so <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah but i always enjoyed i did that and then i was more into the the dramatic side of it so the performing um like plays and stuff like that um, when, when you say sing was it like was it like church choir stuff or like like band choir in school or what kind of singing? no just like just like normal solo stuff so i was looking for um so we have a grading system in in the uk for like when you get to grade eight so it's like an actual like qualification for singing while you're learning um i got to a great i got to about grade four when my balls dropped so <laughs> gotcha but yeah and then that, and then it was just like yeah there's no fixing this so <laughs> we kind of abandoned it for a little bit and then um what can i say um and then i kind of left it for a bit i mean i went to i stuck with the performing aspect until i was about 18 um when i worked for disney for a bit and then um when I came back from that job, I kind of got into the mindset of, okay, I now need to start earning some money. I'm not going back into education. I'm not doing that. So that's when I got stuck in the the nine to five. Um, We've all been there. Fast forward a couple. Fast forward a couple of years later. Um, got seriously ill, so everything got put on hold for. Quite a few years. I, I feel like in my life, I'm about 10 years behind. Um, so and then, whatever the illness was, was so significant that it just completely wiped you out for many, many, many months. Um, so put it this way, from diagnosis to surgery was 18 months. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, it was pretty severe. I was down to, I think at the time trying to convert it into don't know what it was i think in kilos it was about 60 is what i weighed at the time of surgery i'd lost all my body weight it was literally if they don't they don't fix this now it's going to get it's going to end me so um but luckily that was 10 years ago and i've just been uh i've still got the condition but it's fine um and yeah just kind of just 
tried to rebuild from there and rebuild finances and build a life and whatnot. And then recently I've just got into more experimental stuff where it was like, I kind of adopted the attitude of, I want to start doing some stuff that I enjoy a bit more. So if I want to do work, I want it to be work that I enjoy and work. It's more creative. Um, so while still doing my job at the moment, I decided to expand a little bit and I, I went back to my old inspirations of like, um, I, I always remember one of my earliest memories was like, we used to do uh, road trips in the UK um, back when I was bowling. And uh, one of my dad's favorite artists at the time was Scooter. Skinter? Scooter. I don't think I know them. Okay, uh, so Scooter is a big European EDM artist for the last 25 years. He did, um, oh, what's that song called? It was like his biggest one. My mind's gone completely fucking blank. What was the name of the song? <laughs> it's texting me now. Shit. No worries. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to look up Skinter and, and jam something from him. Sco but, uh... Scooter, L like a pedal scooter. Oh, scooter. I thought you were saying yeah, skin scooter. skinther for a second there. I was like, oh no, scooter. I don't know either. But what what kind of how, like how do you let's say today is is new song day? Talk us through your process of how you create a song from scratch. So my my mentality is a bit backwards to what some musicians do. Is a lot of musicians will like they'll start with the instrumentation and build a beat. I start from the lyrics. So I was always, back when I was younger, I was always pretty good with poetry and stuff like that and rhymes and whatnot. So I would write out verses and stuff like that and try and get a flow about it. And then once I've got it, it so I, I get the flow in my head and then I start building the beat around that rather than, I, I feel like I get more out of the lyrics themselves by putting more focus and strength into the lyrics, because I feel like if I do the beat and the beat and the tune first, then that kind of handcuffs me a little bit with what I want to do. Sure. So I have to maybe cut off syllables or make lines shorter, and sometimes the the lines don't pack a punch as much as I like to. So I like to focus more on the, the lyrical side and then build um, build a bass line and then build the melody around that. That is a unique way to go about it, but that is so cool. I, I love hearing an artist's creative process of how they make music, because everyone, there's no the rules. Logical you... song, that's the one. The logical song. Can we can we talk about what's happening at midnight? <laughs> what you what you got going on at midnight, man? Well, technically midnight was an hour ago for me, so at midnight my new album, Infinity, just dropped. Uh, so I got a 12 track. Um, including uh, the two singles you guys have already heard, uh, Roller Coaster Ride and Fly Away. Um, and yeah, so mid, uh, I think it's, it's out in the UK now, but I think the videos, I can't remember if I scheduled them regionally or midnight my time, so the videos might already be on YouTube. So basically um, we got to wait, we got to wait a couple more hours. Or, or, or maybe not on YouTube, but on Spotify, at least where I am, I got to wait another seven or eight hours, as you're saying, because you're in the future. <laughs> yeah, but, and I tell you, it sucks. Dude, uh, <laughs> I love I love the fact that almost every, I mean, every song I've heard from you is is incredible, but and I really always loved uh, Ready, Aim, Fire, but then you kind of hit us with that, like, very metal-esque song. Like what? What else? If, if someone is watching this or sees it on YouTube and they do not know your music whatsoever, what would you what is what would you say is like a good for fans of? For hey, you don't know DJ Hypno's music. If you're a fan of this artist, this artist, this artist, you will probably like my shit. So I like to I like to think the album has got a, a fair bit of variety to it in terms of. You've got the more mellow tracks like Fly Away, a bit more summer vibes and chill. You've got the more club dance anthems like uh, Neon Lights and um, Anti-Social Media. And then you've got the hard, the hard, more hardcore stuff like Ready, Aim, Fire, Armageddon. So the idea behind 
naming the, the, the album Infinity is that there is an infinite number of possibilities with making music. You can make an infinite number of uh, melodies, beats, and it's there's, tastes are always changing. Beats, there's an infinite number of opportunities when you're making music. So that was kind of where I love that, that name came from. That's genius. That's genius. Are you prepared for trivia today? Uh, depends what it's on. If it's on American history, I'm going to say screw you and hang up. <laughs> for sure. Do you have Do you have hot sauce or a shot or a beer? Your call. Okay, so um, I've got hot sauce, but it, like I say, because of the condition, it's not very hot. It's lemon and herb piri piri. I, I totally understand. It's no problem. We will accept this. You get to pick any movie or TV show that you've seen so many times. Or if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, how do I stump you? Because you've seen it so many times. Okay, I'm going to go with literally the only show I have ever rewatched that many times, Suits. Okay. I'm familiar with the show. I have not ever seen Suits. Uh, give me a second to find some trivia on that. And uh, uh, while we're waiting, what what happens next? What can we expect from you the rest of 2024? Are we is it is it time to go heavy on gigs? Push Infinity. What is kind of like your map out plan from now um, till December? Let's say. Ooh. Well, to be honest, I never had a plan with this one. <laughs> this was all kind of a <laughs> literally the day the day I dropped Psycho in in uh, that first show was literally a fuck it let's see what happens and the response was nothing i ever expected so all of this has been very like it, it may seem like it's stuff that because I, rem I remember you made a comment once where I w where you were like I i'm making music really really quickly it's like no i've had this shit on the back burner and not showed it to anybody for god knows how long because i'm too i'm too scared <laughs> so we don't know you that long so we to us it felt like bam 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 another one and we're just like what the hell this is amazing blah, blah, blah. but yeah no i get yeah, it like <laughs> the music process takes a long time but that people don't see all the behind the scenes and stuff yeah i mean it, it, i was i was doing some of this stuff before i even showed up at local band smoke out i mean um i gotta give a shout out to peretti because he's the reason i found you guys um, love peretti he's such a good guy um because he was actually um yeah so i came across from that and then just love the vibe in the channel everyone was really supportive and friendly and it's just been an honor to hang with you guys it is an honor to have you here. I think you're going to blow up, sir. But you may blow up on this trivia right now because it is trivia time. And here we go. You got to pick, and you picked Suits. Oddly enough, I can only find trivia on the first episode. So we're going, we're going way back. In the very first episode, Mike is carrying a briefcase around with him. What is in the briefcase? <laughs> It's a briefcase full of weed. That is correct. That is correct. Well done. It says drugs on my end, but uh, I will uh, assume that is marijuana. Uh, he's, he's specifically a very heavy, sto uh, very heavy stoner at that point. I got te tequila, pineapple. Mm. Woo! And that I feel like a horrible combo. It's actually pretty tasty, but it's got a little spice. I feel like in the world of EDM, the possibility of collabs are like infinite, no pun intended, but can <laughs> can you throw out an artist or two or vocalist or DJ collab that would be like a dream come true that you could work with this artist? Um, so I've got two. Um, if I was to do, like we discussed originally, um, like a, a metal EDM collab, if it was ever going to be possible, um orbit culture i absolutely love orbit culture and they're very unique with their sound and everything and they're breaking out in the scene at the moment um so if, a, if an edm crossover with them was ever possible i'd be all over that um from an edm edm perspective for me it would probably be timmy trumpet okay that'd be a cool collab for sure <laughs> yeah, i just I, I love his stuff yeah, he, he's dope. 
my my goal is to stump you, bro. And I I have, I have found what I think is a very 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 hard question again about suits. One more time. I need one more. I need one more. Again, going back to that first episode. Trevor meets with a bunch of drug suppliers. When he meets up with them, they're playing a game. What game are they playing? Oh, God. Uh, it is a... It is not a video game, so don't guess a video game. Trying to picture back to that. It says two of the dealers are playing this while Trevor is being threatened and forced to stay with them while Mike delivers the briefcase. Was it table tennis? Enjoy the hot sauce! Mm. <laughs> the, the answer is backgammon. They, they are playing backgammon. The, if, if you get the first trivia question, I gotta go really, really hard on the second one because my job is to, is to stump you. So enjoy the uh, the hot sauce. Um, uh, Hypno, when, when, I don't know if, if, I know cannabis is, I believe, now just medical in small forms there, but let's say it's a, it's a day of partying and the munchies are kicking in. What is your favorite munchy meal? Ooh, what, like just meal ever or just as in like a snack to grab? Uh, favorite meal ever, price doesn't matter, somebody's buying you this meal. Oh, Favorite meal ever is, it's got to be a good old steak. Good steak, pepper sauce, decent decent mash. Um, yeah, just get it get it cooked right, medium rare. And yeah, we, we can hang out. We can hang out. That'd be solid. I, I agree with that. It, it, is is there another when now that Infinite comes out or is out in some in some places? What is, um, you said you have everything like time scheduled to drop, like the, everything as far as on YouTube. Is there like a big visualizer or anything that we can anticipate in the in the near future as like the quote unquote next single? Anything like that? Not yet. Um, at the moment, because I'm kind of expanding with, um, obviously I've finished the Infinity album. I've been working on, um, trying to get that up and ready, get all the videos up on YouTube ready. Um, but I've been trying to work a little bit more on the songwriting aspect and also some genre crossovers because I want to try and uh, build my... Uh, I suppose I build my catalogue a little bit at the same time, but it's like um, I will come back to it. I think that obviously when an album just drops, then you want to take a break a little bit and then let it let it simmer and then come back later to keep everybody fresh on you but um i haven't got anything in the pipeline yet apart from um i am going to be starting work on the potential am4 collab uh later on um i'm looking at getting some new um some new midi packs because you're making me go outside my uh <laughs> comfort zone with a bit more dubstep style but i don't think a lot cool. of people even know what we're talking about but but we're uh <laughs> i i think it would be an honor if if hypno took the lead on doing like an am fall collab where he's he's constructed a track that has a little drum and bass has a little dubstep and it's got a shit ton of metal and i don't know what it's gonna sound like but he's he we're we're gonna be working hard on that in, in the background and that should be a, a lot, lot of, of fun man. i can make it I can make it work, but it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be an experiment for sure. But that that probably be the next thing, unless um, I, I'm kind of one of those ones where if I get an idea or an inspiration, I'm just kind of like, oh wait, write that down, or just get straight on it. If I'm if I'm on my computer right now and I suddenly get an idea, it's straight onto the studio and. Uh, just start mapping it out. Does it work or is it all literally in my head and I'm making it sound better than it actually is? Um, if you're behind it, it's going to be fire, bro. It's going to be dope. You, you got you to start blowing the smoke up my ass. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor that I can't help it. Uh, sir, I, I appreciate your time. I, I leave you with an important final question. I'm assuming this is going to be like the live show attire. Can you Can you talk to us about... 
Uh, are live shows in the works? Have have you are you done a lot of live stuff as far as your material? What what's Never. going on in that department? Never. I am a I'm I'm a, I'm a live show rookie. Um, wouldn't even know how to promote this. This is all very like I say. This is all very alien. I haven't dealt with marketing promoters and all that sort of stuff before. It's all very new to me. Um, tell you what, if you want me to do the hot sauce. You want the mask off? That's up to you. That's up to what you. Is, what, you can always just tip it thing? back this far, and then just go like that, and we don't. Not too much what is, is revealed. Chat thing? Does, does chat want a face reveal, or do they want to keep it secret? Do we get a face reveal or keep it secret? What do you guys think? I think part of the mystery is cool. I say, I if it was up to me, I would say do like a half, a half boom. Uh, I think it's kind of cool, the mystery. But it's totally your call. Ooh, I don't want to face reveal, but I'd keep it a secret. Uh, okay, tell you what, for this for the sake of the interview, I won't. But if you do want to see my face, follow me on Twitch. Because I do stream. There you go. And then you get you get the full right. face reveal. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me pull this off. Oh, son of a bitch! That's perfect. We can't see anything. And uh, apparently, you're really, really damn good at Fortnite. How many times would you guess that you've played Fortnite uh, ever? Oh, oh shit! Oh, I'm used to that with chicken. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. I play every so often. I don't like the new season at the moment. <laughs> but uh, these these guys big me up like I'm some bloody pro, like I'm the next ninja. I am really not. I am. I am they, they just watch me die all the time in COD Mobile, and they're like, we need someone that gets doves, and apparently you get a lot of doves, so everyone wants to watch you play. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you need to get in the game. We keep saying this. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm terrible um, at the one game I love, but. Hey, no, this was uh, fun, man. I, I I appreciate you taking some time out in the in the wee hours. Congratulations on the, on the album release, bro. I love everything I've ever heard from you. Thanks for being a good sport and and doing the the hot sauce. Um, I think at some point in your career, this is exactly what your calling is, and things are gonna work out the way that they're supposed to, and good that mean good things. And I'm honored that you considered working with me on the side for our little side uh, side jam. But, dude, this is this is a, a, for real. Thank you so much, man. I can't wait to jam the full album tonight. And um, just God bless you, bro. No, thank you for having me. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Just, uh, yeah, lots more lots more to come. Just, uh, yeah, just keep, keep, uh, keep on checking back. And hopefully I'll have some new and exciting for you in the future. I'm excited. If you guys missed any of this interview we'll be on YouTube tomorrow morning, the one and only DJ Hip Hop! Yeah, hell yeah! Cheers, sir.